In this video, we're going to complete example one. We're going to simplify the following expressions by combining like terms. Now, in case you don't know what that means, I'll just do a really simple example. Let's say we have the expression 3a plus 2a. If you look at this expression, we have two like terms. We've got the term 3a and the term 2a. They both have the exact same pronumeral, which means that we can add them up. We can go 3a's plus another 2a's gives us 5a's. You'll notice when we combine like terms, the pronumeral stays the same and we add the numbers, which we call the coefficients. 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, so let's get right into uh, this example here. We'll start with question A. You will notice that we have one, two, three, four terms here. I'll start with the very first term, which is 5x. I'm looking for another term which has the exact same set of pronumerals. So we've got our 3x here, and it's very important to notice that it's, it's more than just 3x. We're actually subtracting 3x. So we're going to go 5x minus 3x, which simplifies to 2x. Okay, we have another couple of terms to look at. We've got 12, and, and let's take note that that's a positive 12. And then we've got minus 10. And these are referred to as like terms because they both don't have any pronumerals. So you can technically say that they have the same set of pronumerals. They don't have any. And 12 minus 10 gives us 2, or positive 2. So we're going to write plus 2 to the right here. And this gives us our simplified expression of 2x plus 2. Let's now move on to question B. We have 2a squared at the beginning, and then we're subtracting 10a squared. So we're going to go 2 minus 10 because they have the exact same set of pronumerals. These are like terms. And 2 minus 10 gives us a negative number, negative 8. And then we'll write our a squared next to our negative 8. You'll notice we have a b. And there are no other terms that have a B. So it's, it's on its own, which means we're going to write it down below and just keep it the same. It's not going to change. We also have two more terms. These ones are called constant terms. If it's a number with no pronumeral, we refer to it as a constant. So we have negative 3, and then we're adding 7. Now, negative 3 plus 7 gives us positive 4. So we'll write plus 4 at the end. And that's our simplified expression. We can do a little more, and, and we don't have to do this, but some people like to do this. I'm going to rearrange it a little bit. I'm going to write the b first, and then I'm going to put the negative 8a squared in the middle. And the reason I did that was just so that I didn't have a negative number at the beginning. And, and some people don't like that, and, and they rearrange to fix that problem. Okay, now moving on to question C. Once again, we'll just look at our first term, negative 3CD, and we're looking for the exact same set of pronumerals. It can only have one C and one D. So if we look at this term, this has two C's and a D. So this is not a like term. I can see that negative 10dc has the same set of pronumerals, 1d and 1c, just in a different order, but that doesn't matter. So negative 3 minus 10 will actually give us negative 13, and I'll write it as cd, or I could have written it as dc. It, it doesn't really matter. I've also got c squared d here. This is a positive, so I'll underline the positive. And then I've got negative 7c squared d. So we've got two c's and a d in both of these terms. Remembering if there's no number there, it's technically a 1. This is really saying that we've got 1c squared d. So we're going to go positive 1 minus 7, which gives us negative 6. So negative 6, 
and then we write down the exact same set of pronumerals, c squared d. And now we have a couple of constants. We've got positive 1, negative 11. 1 minus 11 is negative 10. So at the end of my algebraic expression, I'm going to write minus 10. And that's my simplified expression for question C. So we'll finally move on to question D now, starting with the first term, we've got 5u squared v. And it's very tempting to look at the next one and go, oh, we've got the same combination here. But this one's quite different. This has two v's and one u whereas the first term actually had two u's and one v. So these are not like terms. In fact, the, the one at the end, 7uv, only has one u and, and one v. And you might have noticed that none of these terms are alike. So what do we do in this situation? Well, it cannot be simplified. So for our solution, we're just going to rewrite the question because this is basically stating that it cannot be simplified. Isn't it nice that the answer to a question can be the question itself? Anyway, that concludes our video on example one, where we simplify algebraic expressions. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.